The Mario Kart Booster Pass number two is finally here, and that's a good thing because I was starting to wonder if it was coming because Nintendo went dead silent about it after the last one. I've gotten a chance to play all of them over the last few days, and I figured, let's rank them. Mostly because ranking stuff is done pretty well on my channel. When Booster Pass number one was released, Nintendo didn't put the new tracks into the worldwide online rotation until something like a week later. You could only play them offline or by doing this trick to play online with friends, which I made a video on and if you want to check it out, I'll link it right here on the screen and also down in the description below. This time though, I'm happy to report that the tracks are available in the worldwide rotation immediately and playable there right now. Smart move by Nintendo to go that route because people weren't exactly thrilled about it last time. Anyway, that's enough about that. Let's rank them from worst to best. I don't know how well the retro racetracks from the SNES fit into the modern game, because, in my opinion, this is just completely boring and repetitive. The track is about as basic as possible with not even a hill or incline to speak of, and the surroundings are pretty meh, which makes this good for nostalgia, but I would guess that there's almost zero chance any newcomer really cares about this one. Calamari Desert suffers from the same knocks as the last one. It's an N64 track, and they didn't change much of the scenery from the N64 version. It just seems pretty lifeless, and I feel like that's such an easy addition on the developer's end, and they decided not to. I did like the changeup of having you go through the tunnel on the last lap, because that's something you never got to do in the N64 version. By a show of hands, who else played the absolute hell out of Mario Kart Wii? I love to see Nintendo bring this track back and give it the HD treatment. It has that classic Mario feel to it with mushrooms all around and bright green everywhere. I know it's fairly low on this list, but spoiler alert, that's because there are some absolute bangers coming up. Also, this game said f me on this level. Like, can a dude get a break or what? I don't have, and honestly have never even played Mario Kart Tour on mobile, but it seems like a theme of the app is making tracks that are based off cities. In New York Minute, I get some serious New Donk City vibes from Mario Odyssey. I love the bright, vibrant downtown setting and the manholes that shoot up in the air with water. Also, I like how the track changes its direction on all three laps to keep it fresh and interesting. I'm big on how the surrounding area and the like themes are around the racetrack when I play Mario Kart. I have no idea if anyone else is, but that's just something that I pay attention to. In Snowland, I love the icy look of the road, and heck, even the ramps are icy. You know, Nintendo nailed how water looked on this game back when it originally released, and now let's add ice to that because this looks beautiful. Nice to see these little penguin guys back also that seem to always pop up in Mario Snow levels now. I never played Mario Kart on the GBA, but I'll just go ahead and assume that it never looked as good as it does right here. This is the first brand new track that Nintendo has given us in either of the booster packs. It's not redone from a retro Mario Kart, it's not even from Mario Kart Tour, though I did hear that this will be headed to Tour, and man, it does not disappoint. The track is basically just up and back, but it has an awesome design where everything is made of desserts. Ice cream, ice cream toppings, cones, all, you know, all the good stuff. Love this little ice cream diner looking thing at the start of the race, just a cute little detail. It's a pretty short track, not baby park short, but short and sweet. You see what I did there? I hope Nintendo has plans to release a few more brand new tracks in the future, especially after seeing this one. This is how you do the retro tracks right. This one was a huge fan favorite when it was on the DS version, and it's made even better here with an HD upgrade. Racing through a pinball table is just a blast, trying to avoid the bumpers and balls rolling toward you and putting the racers in close proximity of each other all make for some chaotic but awesome racing. Glad to see that Waluigi can get some love here, unlike another game. <coughs> Smash Bros. <coughs> Excuse me. And we've arrived at number one, and it's freaking awesome. 
Maybe I should play Mario Kart Tour because the tracks from there just seem to be on point. I'm guessing this is supposed to be Sydney, Australia that you're cruising through. I mean, don't ask how I figured that one out. And there's just so much going on around the track. There's people watching, tall buildings, a lake or maybe a pier or bay with boats and bridges and even amusement park rides. And also you get to see the iconic Sydney Opera House. Just absolutely fantastic. This right here, this one is an A+. And I would love if Nintendo could keep making tracks based off large world cities and giving them to us because they're nailing them. And there's my list of me ranking all the Booster Pass tracks on Mario Kart 8 that were just released. I didn't watch any videos on this before I did it, so I have no idea what the masses are saying about it. Um, my thoughts might be completely different from what everyone else is saying, and that's fine. I just wanted to put out a video of what I thought about them, and I also want to hear about what you think about them. So let me know down in the comments. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.